so we're joined by Dr. Chloe here in the studio, and I've got it in Cruniac. Now, of course, it's the Celtic Gathering, and whatever name you want, it's still the same sort of same, event. Yeah. And it's not until later this year, but everything's ready. Ish. That's right. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, we have got tickets out for sale, and we are now. We've announced the acts. So this so is the big reveal. That's right. We've got um, a really exciting variety of artists from the Celtic countries, and this year also from America. We've got someone from Kentucky coming. How do you find people like that? Did they come to you, or well, you spread your, the message and they, they hear well, about Well, in Randy Wilson's case, he got in touch with me about two years ago and said he'd love to come to the Isle of Man um, to trace his ancestry, and they're going to go off to Ireland afterwards with his family. So he was very keen to be part of the festival. Brilliant. So do tell us what else is happening. Great. Well, um, we've got four concerts at the Centenary Centre. Um, the festival itself is going to run from the 15th to the 21st of July, but our first concert starts on the 17th of July okay. on the Wednesday night, and that is with Jamie Smith's um, Mabon. And this is uh, one of Wales' uh, biggest Celtic acts, and they're celebrating their 20th anniversary and with the assistance of the Alaman Steam Packet Company, um, Mabon are coming to launch their 20th um, anniversary album and start off, um, kick off the week of um, concerts at the Centenary Centre. Now, is it, again, mostly Centenary Centre or, or you, you know, how's it working this year? From Wednesday to Saturday nights, where, um, we've got concerts in the Centenary Centre, but we've also got Kayleys in Peel Masonic Hall on the Friday and Saturday nights. Right. So um, they will um, be open to all ages and um, you can actually buy a festival pass for the whole, all of the events for £55. So if you go to CelticGathering.im, there's details on buying the Fantastic. festival pass. So um, yes, we've got Mab on starting on the Wednesday night. Thursday night, we've got Scottish harpist Rachel Hare and she wo she's coming with um, guitarist Ron Jappy also from Scotland, and they will be um, revealing um, tracks from their new album, uh, which is called Sparks. And Rachel's already a well-known face in the Isle of Man because she teaches um, over 20 harp students for Culture Bannon. Right. So um, that'll be a lovely evening on the Thursday. Um, on the Friday evening, we've got an exciting new collaboration uh, between some Breton musicians and some Manx musicians. Oh, fantastic. Yes. So this one, is, uh, this event's going to be sponsored by Thornton Financial Planners. And we've got Laws Landat, who's a wo very well-known Breton uh, Fesnod singer, and Thomas Moisson, who's an accordion player. So they're going to work with Mira Royal, our very own mm. young uh, award-winning harpist, and David Kogallan, who's a well-known name on the Manx scene. He's a member of McLear. And he's a composer and plays fiddle and yeah. keyboards. Great. So they're gonna that'll be a really good night. And they will, as well as this um, new piece of music that they're going to create, um, there's going to be Manx music from Mira and David. But also we'll have lots of traditional uh, Breton music as well. So that'll be a great night. And then um, our headliner for the Saturday night is very exciting. We've got um, Derry Farrell, and he is um, currently um, Male Vocalist of the Year in Ireland. Wow. So he's a big name and he's won several BBC2 um, radio vocal awards. Mm -hmm. um, so he's coming with an Ilium Piper and um, a top Baran player from Ireland, from Dublin. And that's the Saturday night. So that'll be really good fun. It yes. sounds a bit like Mini Lorient now, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, yeah. having the chance to go there and, and experience yes. that. This is on your doorstep and, and it's just an amazing sort of experience. If people have never been to before, you can really, really get something out of this, I, I would suggest. Would you just say? I, yeah, there's a bit for it. There's something for yeah. everyone, really. I mean, these are all the ticketed events, but of course, we've got lots of free events as well. And details about those will be coming out um, as we go along. But um, yes, we've got, well, those are our main acts. Mm -hmm. And then we've also got... Um, a duo from Scotland, a bagpiper and clarinet player. That's uh, a yes. combination. Uh, so Neil uh, Clark and his wife Catherine Granger, they're going to be doing several um, uh, performances at our community events and some of our school workshops. And Neil, he's got um, a very popular YouTube channel called Falkirk Piping, where he um, teaches people around the world how to play tunes on the bagpipes so he'll be doing um, a few workshops and various performances and we're very excited to have randy wilson uh, from um, kentucky 
who's coming and he this will guy, do yeah. a talk about the Appalachian banjo but several performances and he will be joined by his son Gabe Dancero who great name yeah I know I know and he is he plays old time fiddle so they'll of course be he does. what yeah. else will he do with a name like that so there'll be several opportunities to see them perform and to learn about um, the banjo history of the banjo and um, they'll be calling a few square dancers on the Friday oh. night Kaylee so a bit of interaction there. Yes. So How's um, your square dancing? All right. Well, it'll, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll find out that night. <laughs> but okay. uh, plenty going on. Okay. And um, tickets range from £3 for children to get into the Cayley up to £18 for um, some of the gigs. And the, the website again for that? It's um, www.celticgathering.im.